so much uh, on behalf of the men and women of the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department and our residents community here in Palmdale and Lancaster. We appreciate the fact that all of you are out here on a Sunday afternoon covering this story. As I go through my talking points, you'll understand why it's important for the community uh, to be fully attentive uh, to the information uh, that we're uh, gonna put out. I wanna just review uh, some of what I talked about last night um, regarding the murder of Deputy Ryan Clicken Unbrumer. Let me try that again. Click, clink Unbrumer, our deputy. The Sheriff's Department personnel have worked around the clock in an attempt to find and locate the suspects, these suspects, it could be one, it could be two, in Ryan's murder. Yesterday evening at approximately 6 p.m., our deputy was ambushed while on duty working patrol at the Palmdale Sheriff Station. Ryan was in full uniform in a marked black and white Sheriff's Department vehicle and had just exited the station northbound on Sierra Highway. Ryan was in the vehicle by himself stopped at the intersection of Sierra Highway and Avenue Q. Minutes later, he was discovered unconscious in his vehicle by a good Samaritan. And last night I spent some time uh, thanking uh, that person. Um, that's what we're supposed to do. You see somebody in need, you're supposed to stop. And that's exactly what this good Samaritan did. The Good Samaritan then reported it to the Palmdale station personnel. Deputy personnel transported our deputy to the Antelope Valley Medical Center where he was treated for a gunshot wound and unfortunately later succumbed to his injuries. I would like to personally thank the medical staff at the Antelope v Valley Medical Center, not only for their efforts in trying to save Ryan's life, but their empathy, their compassion, not only towards Ryan's family, uh, but all of our employees as well. It was a very, very difficult evening for all of us. Investigators continue to conduct interviews, review evidence, and surveillance footage. The video that was widely circulated last night, which showed a patrol car at the time of the murder, also shows a vehicle driving next to Ryan's patrol vehicle. Uh, we will be putting out flyers that show the vehicle, and I'm calling it a vehicle of interest. And I need everybody to pay attention to what the vehicle looks like in the video. I have a flyer uh, here in my hand uh, with a similar vehicle right next to it. And if you were anywhere in this area, and everybody's got video cameras, whether it's cell phones, uh, different kind of electric vehicles, whatever it may be, we encourage you to look at your video and make sure that we didn't capture anything that could be the missing puzzle to apprehending the suspects. And I'm gonna continuously refer to them as cowards because that's what they are, cowards, to attack a deputy sheriff in uniform in a black and white who's just sitting there at a red light about to go out and serve our community. That is absolutely 100% unacceptable. And it should be unacceptable to everybody who lives in this community and really communities across the country that somebody would attack a deputy sheriff in that manner. It's absolutely outrageous. This vehicle of interest that we need the public's help to locate the vehicle and the occupants of the vehicle. The vehicle is described as a 2006 to 2012 Toyota Corolla, dark gray in color. Deputy Clickham Broomer was 30 years old and an eight year veteran of our Sheriff's Department. He worked the majority of his tenure serving this Palmdale community. I said this last night and I'm gonna repeat it. The men and women who work in this department come to work every day with the expectation of serving our community. 
They respond to 911 calls, people who can't help themselves. Ryan was no different yesterday. He came to work, he left his family. Families worry about our deputies when they go to work. Ryan's not coming home. And Ryan wasn't only a deputy sheriff for the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department, but he was a son. He was a grandson. He had just been engaged four days ago. He had so much ahead of him. And this coward or cowards took his life while he's sitting at a red light, waiting to serve our community. Our family here at the Sheriff's Department has been praying for Ryan's family, friends, as well as our department members who are hurting. Our Palmdale Station family, our Palmdale community, we would like to thank the community for their overwhelming support and generosity during this very difficult time. I cannot tell you how many phone calls I've received from uh, community members and so many people across the board who are, what can we do to help? Even individuals who may not always agree with policing are calling and saying, this is an outrage. What do we do to help you? That becomes very, very important as well. I would like to thank the Board of Supervisors, Palmdale and Lancaster City officials for their continued support during this difficult time. I'd also like to thank our local, state, and federal law enforcement partners that have reached out and offered assistance. Additionally, I would like to thank the District Attorney's Office for their response and support so far with this investigation. We will expect a lot out of them. If anyone that was, and I'm going to repeat this, if anyone was at the intersection of Sierra Highway and Avenue Q at approximately 6 p.m. yesterday or last night that may have witnessed anything or has any information, please contact our homicide investigators at 323-890-5500. Or if you wish to remain anonymous, please call or contact Crime Stoppers at 1-800-222-TIPS, T-I-P-S. And again, check your cameras, check your cameras. That could be the missing link to the information that we need. Together, we can ensure that the suspect responsible for this senseless shooting is held accountable for their actions. I want to reassure the community, as well as our deputies, that we will use every resource, every resource the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department has. And like I've stated earlier, I've been on the phone already today uh, with multiple law enforcement agencies, both in the region and at the state and federal level. They have all offered their assistance. So I'm gonna tell you, whoever did this, I'd give in or I'd give up really quick. We are gonna find you. Every resource available is going to be looking at you, but there's no more important resource than our community. Your eyes and ears will help us catch the coward that, this, that did this to one of your deputies, one of our deputies. That's very, very important. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it over uh, to Supervisor Barger. Uh, she called me last night when this occurred uh, to basically lend all of her support. Uh, her and other uh, officials are going to come up and announce an award or reward and they will announce uh, the amounts. And then when they're done announcing the reward, I'm going to come back to the podium and answer any questions that any of you may have. So with that, I would like to turn it over to Supervisor Barger. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff. Thank you, Sheriff. Good afternoon. I stand before you today with a heavy heart. The loss of Deputy Ryan Clickenbrumer has unleashed shock, anger, and grief. His senseless murder has caused a devastating ripple effect that reaches far and wide. It was an unprovoked attack on an honorable public servant, an attack on law enforcement community at large as well. Make no mistake. It is unimaginable to begin to understand the emotions his loved ones and colleagues are feeling at this moment. I have a special, special message 
for, de for Deputy Klingenbrummer's mother, father, fiance, and grandparents, and his fellow sheriff's deputies who must also deal with this terrible loss. I want you to know I stand beside you shoulder to shoulder. This heinous deed will not, will not go unpunished. Whoever committed this cowardly act will be caught. The persons or person responsible will be held accountable. I make that promise to you. Justice must and will be served. I join our law enforcement partners and our Palmdale City partners in calling on the public to please help us identify who committed this murder. As an incentive, I will introduce a motion during the Board of Supervisors meeting on Tuesday to establish a $100,000 reward for information leading to the arrest and conviction of the person or persons responsible for the deputy's murder. I want whoever committed this cowardly ambush to be apprehended immediately and to be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. I am very hopeful this reward will encourage someone to have the courage to step forward. I will close with this. The loss of Deputy Ryan Clickenbrumer is a test, a test of our faith and a test of our collective spirit. But based on what I know about the men and women who put on their badge every day, we will persevere. With that, I would now like to uh, invite up the Mayor of Palmdale, Mayor Betancourt. Thank you. Today, we stand together to mourn and pay tribute to Deputy Ryan Klinkenboomer, or Klink as we affectionately call him here at the station, who made the ultimate sacrifice in the line of duty. As the Mayor of Palmdale, and on behalf of my entire city council, and actually with the Lancaster Council that's here today too, from, from both communities, we have profound sorrow regarding this unacceptable and unprovoked attack. Our hearts go out to Clink's family, the Palmdale Sheriff Station, and our entire community. This loss weighs heavy on our hearts. Clink embodied the values we hold dear as a community, values of service, protection, and the commitment to keep us safe. Our law enforcement officers need our unwavering support right this minute, more than ever. They work tirelessly, facing danger and uncertainty to protect us and uphold the rule of law. We must stand by them and ensure that they have the resources, the respect, and the appreciation that they deserve for serving this community. Let me be crystal clear. This was an act of murder. This individual or individuals are spineless criminals and our community will join together to bring them to justice with the full support of the city, with any resources that we have. Starting to get things moving, we are going to match the county's $100,000 reward. So there'll be $100,000 coming from the city of Palmdale towards the apprehension and conviction of this criminal. Palmdale is strong and we will continue to be strong together as we get through this difficult time. And right now, I would like to bring up um, Mr. Rich Pippin, the president of ALADS. Thank you so much. For the last 20 hours, I and thousands of deputy sheriffs have been simultaneously heartbroken and furious over the cold-blooded execution of one of our best, Ryan Klinkenbrumer, right out here. This, this attack was completely unprovoked in front of a sheriff's station. This wasn't just an attack on a good man. It certainly was that, and it's tragic in and of itself for that. But this was an attack on our profession. It was an attack on the people, the very people that protect you and your loved ones. This was an attack on all of us. There's a lot wrong here. A lot of our community leaders and elected officials have been spreading a narrative that the bad guys aren't that bad, and that the good guys are actually the bad guys. It's promoting an environment that emboldens criminals and encourages senseless acts of violence like this, and it has to stop. It has to stop 
your communities will deserve better. The people who protect those communities deserve better. Ryan Klinkenbermer's family, a family that has served the public for generations faithfully, they sure as hell deserve better. We're hurting. We need your help. We look out for you, and right now we need you to be here for us. Thank you. Thank you, Rich. So if you're tracking us, we have a reward for $250,000 for the capture, arrest, and prosecution of the coward who murdered our deputy. And when I say our deputy, it's not just us here on this side of the podium, but it's your deputy as well. And I just want to reemphasize, he was in uniform, sitting in a black and white vehicle, marked LA County Sheriff's, waiting for a red light. That is outrageous. Please, I beg you, somebody has information. Please make things right. Spending time with Ryan's family, Rich just mentioned it, decades of service to the residents, community members of Los Angeles County. You do get a sense of outrage from all the speakers and the people standing behind me that represent Palmdale, Lancaster, both at a local level, state level, and federal level. We are united. We are united as a community. And as I've said earlier, based on the phone calls that I'm receiving from a lot of our community members, they're outraged as well. We need to stand together. We need to stand against this type of violence. And let's get this, this or these individuals off the street. So with that, questions, please. We are still looking and evaluating exactly what happened, but based on the early assessment of what we're looking at, our deputy never even had a chance. When we refer to this suspect or suspects as cowards, uh, it seems like there was no warning. And that's why I'm challenging our community to say this is absolutely unacceptable. Without warning. He was murdered while serving our community. All of those options are homicide detectives. Every investigator that's on this is looking at every option. Uh, that's why if anybody has any information about what they think may have happened, we're encouraging people to call us. Uh, we're not going to leave any stone unturned. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, it is uh, our obligation, uh, with your help, that we take this individual or individuals into custody and we prosecute them to the full extent of the law. Um, Motive-wise, we don't know yet, but we intend to find out. There is $100,000 uh, that the Board of Supervisors uh, should be putting forward as it gets approved. The City of Palmdale has uh, also matched that for another $100,000. And ALADS, the president from, or Rich Pippin, the president of ALADS, is contributing $50,000. Uh, there are other uh, individuals and cities who are calling us in the last hours who are graciously trying to add more uh, to that. But hey, a reward's a reward. Uh, it's one of the highest ones I've seen. But man, I'm, challenged people, I'm challenging people's character out there to find this act absolutely unacceptable uh, and come forward. This is wrong by all accounts. Come forward. We need you. I'll follow up with you on an answer to that.
si podemos hacerlo des, cuando acabamos aquí. Gracias. Okay, looks like there's no other questions. Again, I thank each and every one of you uh, for coming out. Um, yes, ma'am. Honestly, I put my feelings at the back. Uh, my job is the sheriff of this county, representing this very proud organization. I am very concerned uh, about our employees. Uh, we will do everything we can to wrap our arms around each other. Uh, uh, we're broken. Uh, just like if any of your uh, workmates, brothers or sisters that you work with every day would be murdered just for the mere fact that you're doing your job. Uh, but we will take care of each other. I am encouraging all of our employees to make sure uh, that they are seeking uh, uh, all of our, or looking at all of our mental health resources. Uh, but we are focused on Ryan's family. Uh, we are focused on each other. But I do want to emphasize this. We still have a job to do, and they're going to do it. 911 calls are not going to stop coming in because we lost a hero. Uh, there's other heroes in uniform that are handling calls for service right now as I'm speaking to you. So I ask our community to support them, respect who they are and what they do. They're amazing men and women. Thank you. Uh, we're not putting out that information quite yet. Uh, and again, we've got a lot of this, uh, the investigations ongoing. Uh, we have a, a lot of investigators on this case and uh, we'll put that out at the right time. But um, the priority is the arrest and the prosecution of these suspects. Thank you very much. Then we'll stand by for Spanish off to the side uh, through Nicole. Thank you very much.